Hi, this is Barry, and here's a demo of how to include images with your posts. So for start a post, I'm going to use a testing category, which you're welcome to use too. Uh, just something in here to keep it happy. I'm going to paste in a bunch of text. So let's say you've got text in your in your post and now you want to add an image. What you do is you place your cursor where you want the image to start. I'll say right at the very beginning here. And then click on this image icon. That will bring up a little dialog which gives you a choice of uploading it from your computer or from a URL that's referencing someplace on the net. Uh, I'll start with from your computer. Later in this demo I'll hit the URL part. Uh, click select files. Choose your file, upload, and there you go. Now from here, you still have several options. If you double click on the image, you notice then you can wrap the text around it. We'll start it uh, on the left, and you see, isn't that nice? And easy enough, you can switch it to the right. And also, you can control the size. There's medium, and there's thumbnail. One thing you can't do with these images is move them around. But what you can do is cut it, and then paste it someplace else. So that works just fine. When when a resized image gets, <clears throat> excuse me, gets uh, displayed, I'll do a little preview here. You see, it, it automatically gets a little expand option that if you click on that or the image itself, it will bring up a nice little window to see the full size image. So please uh, use your discretion of when to have a full size image and when not. Uh, in particular, if you're having redundant information in your text and your image, so uh, uh, information about an event and then the flyer for that event, uh, please put the flyer in uh, uh, generally medium and typically a line right there. Okie dokie. So that is uh, the simple version of uploading an image. So now moving on to referencing images already on the web, either from your website, uh, any other website, or Google Images, the first step is to get the URL of that image. So let's go over to Google and then go to Images and then search for what we're looking for and then find the image you want. I would say view the original image and then copy its URL. To get the URL of an image in Internet Explorer, you would right-click on an image, select Properties, and then copy the image URL right there, and then Cancel. In Safari, you would right-click on the image, select Open Image in New Tab, and then copy the URL here. In Firefox, you'd right click on the image and select copy image location. And then go back to your to Wacko, to your post, select the image icon again, select from URL, paste in your in your copied URL, and there you have it. Now one thing here is that the double click no longer works. That option isn't supported. However, wrapping is still working, is still supported. However, it works a little differently. You need to use these little icons up here. That if you select your image and click, say, put the image on the left, it'll put these funny little tags on either side of the image, which says image on the left and end image on the left. Uh, and if you preview your post, you'll see the images on the left and the same of course works on the right. Now if uh, the image is too large then the thing to do is to download the image to your 
computer and then resize it there and then upload it using the first technique I showed you. There's another way to post images that are attached to your post as thumbnails rather than uh, uh, embedded inside your post. And that's by scrolling down to the below your post and using this attach, remove images and files. So there, you would select an image from your computer. It'd be add files, select files. Uh, here's one and upload. And done. And notice it's down here. Uh, if you do a preview, you'll see it, it works like that now. And again, if you click on it, it uh, uses it gets to see the larger image. This technique is also useful for attaching files that are not images, such as PDFs or doc files. Uh, so what you would do is same thing is you'd go down to the attach remove images add files select files find your your file upload and done uh, if you preview it you'll see it's a link down here rather than the, the image because it's actually not an image. It's a, a file that has to be read by your, some, something that knows how to read PDFs. Uh, and if you click on it though, most users will be able to open that image which will open up in a separate window and uh, see the full thing. This is also how you can insert previously uploaded images so you can reuse your uploads. Same idea as you go down and attach, remove images and files. Notice up here you have your previously uploaded, uploaded images. And what you do is select one and drag it down to the bottom area here. And this checkbox will dis, uh, determine if it's actually inserted into the body of your text or attached as an attachment below your post. We'll leave it inserted and click insert in line there and notice we have this in our post and there's also a way of converting uh, attached images to inline images so if you have an image down here in one in as an attached image you can insert it into your text by using this paperclip guy and then select the image and in it goes and again you can double click on it and adjust the the alignment and size when it comes to deleting images, the images that you've referenced from the internet and linked by URL can just be deleted and they'll be gone. Uh, the ones that are attached though, if you delete them from your post, they'll be gone, but they'll still be down here. And if you don't delete it as an attached image, they're going to show up as a thumbnail. So you need to go into the attached remove dialog and then click that little X on the top of that image and they'll ask if you want to remove it. And then I think if you click done here, it's going to give you an error. No, nope. okay. So then it's gone. Hey, thanks for watching to the end. I appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing your great posts. Bye-bye.